All right. Oh, after that last bit, I'm I'm at sorts. I might need it. Oh, all right. Let's keep it going. I at least want to get through chapter ten. Wait, I think this is Shinong. <clears throat> okay. Uh. Once I made my home among these lofty peaks of Pindai. Long ago, this land was drowned beneath a great flood that spared only our two greatest ancestors. From those siblings, all of this was born. Great Mother gave us form and breathed life across the land. Life flourished, and it continued to spread even after the Great Mother had long left us. Having taken up her mantle, I rejoiced in its purity and simplicity for a time. But then came plague, famine, and the inhabitants of this land became conscious of their limited resources. War. I still remember the first time I felt the pangs of star starvation. In those days, I would have sunk to any death not to alleviate my own suffering, but to lessen that of those closest to me. I am sure that all must have left. I am sure that all must have felt the same. Thus, our world was engulfed in war. Society split apart, and the strong devoured the weak. So it continued until our numbers thinned beyond all recognition. The history of this world is a tale of endless conflict. With each new day, the heavens are torn apart, torn open anew and the aurora streams through the clouds to portend the coming battle. Beneath that fluttering banner, I ran again and again. And yet, each time I failed to save a single life. I clung desperately to the only thing I could believe in. Uplifting my wo- Oh, where was I? <clears throat> I clung desperately to the only thing I could believe in. Uplifting my world from suffering with the pestle and the plow. I had faith that our eventual salvation lay in the development of agriculture and medicine. Still, I watched as more succumbed to plague, famine, and war. More and more and more. I've been. I've been. I have imbibed poisons into my own body to distinguish them from medicines. I set my own arms to work to, to work plowing the fields. For so long I labored, and then at last. I collapsed alone in the fields of Pindai, with agony and writhing in my guts. Get it now, outsider? Why don't you run on home now that you've learned your lesson? And you call yourself our squad mate. Try coming back when you 
can remember what the hell we went through. <laughs> Salivant! <laughs> hey, you seeing this? Kid staring in the space and mumbling. I think you find it broken? <laughs> Come on, Master! Get up! You can take these thugs before breakfast! Let's try out our new power on them and make them beg for mercy! Remember, Master? It's time to bust out that super move Musashi taught us! New power. <laughs> yeah, fancy seeing you here so soon. Something good happened? Seems like you got a whole new spring in your step while you were away. I don't know where to begin. Right, little Salomon? Hey! <laughs> Looks like you've made up! <laughs> Quite so, old chap. Quite so. <laughs> now, what business do you have with this old sport, what? I keep coming back to what you said. It's kind of bothering me. What I said, eh? Can't say I recall. Ah, I see. You refer to the words we exchanged when we sparred. Faith alone, however, it's is not enough. <laughs> right you are. I guess we did that. I suppose you've been I suppose you've come to ask about what you're lacking, eh, old bee? That's the case. I can hardly. That is not my Musashi voice, but I'm just gonna keep going. If that's the case. I can hardly turn down someone recommended by Shuichi himself. That's right. Just fatten up our pockets a bit, and you can learn all you need to know from a real sword master. Okay, old chum. Back straight. Eyes forward. Now show us those two swords of yours. What? All right. I remember. Called out to little Salomon, just like this. There we go. That's proper dual wielding. Now, let's show you our secret secret to wielding two swords as one. Indeed, look well. Observe our mo motions and copy them if you can. And don't be a wet blanket about it, old sport. Why, there's no telling what could happen if you if you flounder. Eh. Eh. There's no telling what could happen to you if you flounder. What? What's happening? I can't move! Champion work, old chap. You're rather dab at hand at this. Jolly good thing, too. Or we'd be scraping you off the upholstery. Now remember, this is your very last ace in the hole. Don't even think about using it unless you really got no choice. Could you teach me something better? Sorry, little Salomon. We can't use this yet. We should save it. Ow! Ow! Learn your lesson, kid. By the time my alarm rings tomorrow, I want you with your bags packed and out of here. Master! Master! Pick it up, Master! I 
just gotta get up. Oh, everything hurts. Ah, uh, Master, stay with me, Master. Please, anyone, help us. Huh? I remember you. What are you? Oh god, that hurt. <laughs> Never fear my leech! Your favorite foxy lady will save you! Oh, just a silly little dream. Hmm, where is this? Who am I? Oh, yes, how could I forget? I'm the one and the only Huckman! Miss, Mistress Hawkman, good morning! D -d Did you sleep well? At everything that happened last night, I thought... Last night... Well, questions for later. Anyway, Zalato, kindly explain what has been done with my bedroom. Wait. Oh, now I remember. Dang, she got hit by the IRS! Evasion and money laundering, my fluffy rump! They're making, they're just making excuses to clean me out, those beastly vultures! And they knew exactly where everything was hidden! It was like they knew where to look! I don't think you'll get away with this, invaders! A fox with a grudge is the worst enemy you'll ever make! <laughs> uh, uh, mistress, please calm yourself. Remember, anger is bad for the skin. I brewed some calming herbal tea. Please drink some before you break out in spots. <sighs> My Zanotto, have you been brushing up on your brewing? Hmm, that's better. Deep breaths, Hakamid. You've gotten yourself out of far worse scrapes before. Your liege would think nothing of this. That's right, mistress. At times like this, we should look on the bright side, just like Brandon. Oh, Salado, don't be dim. I was talking about my very first liege. Now she was a woman even I could respect. Strong, fearless, and wonderfully wicked. Ah, oh, good memories. I wonder who she's referring to. Although she was reluctant to show her true colors to anyone other than yours truly. She even convinced everyone to call her the Great Mother. Can you believe it? Well, she was good at hiding her claws. Oh, is that one of the souls I had? I was always her most faithful servant, and yet she sold me straight down the river. Ugh. Think, Hockman. Should you not have learned anything from her ambition and tenacity? Would your liege have feared solitude? Never. You have seen for yourself how readily she cloaked herself in it. Oh, how she would weep to see her favorite now. Were you not once the deadliest fib fatale in all the land? Why? Were I still the foxy vix, feisty vixen of my youth, I would have every last one of them drooling over me by now! <sighs> Lounging around and accumulating wealth is all very well, but it seems to have dulled my edge. Salado, get your worthless tail over here this instant! Uh, of course, mistress! Is it time for breakfast already? How many eggs would you like today? Nine, of course! My fur is losing its glossy. I mean, ahem. The time has come to make our move. Um, what move, mistress? Sometimes I wonder if you know me at all, Zolano. I am taking the fight straight to those invaders' home turf. Between my charms and a few cracks of my whip, I'll have those brutes begging for mercy in no time! 
why they'll be scribbling over themselves to eat out of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Please, mistress, don't leave me behind. There must be a less reckless plan we can... What? What on earth are you blabbering about? You will not be coming. I have a very special job for you. Uh, what would that be, mistress? Goodness, you are slow, Zalotto. I'm beginning to think I gifted you those new eyes out of the goodness of my heart, did you? I must have passed out. Where am I? <laughs> hey. Hey. You're finally awake. I was starting to think you might need a shot with three of my special special elixir. <laughs> just pulling your leg. Ooh, you should have seen your face just now. I remember you. Dr. Shenong, right? In the flesh. The desirable, reliable, loved by everyone, Dr. Shenong, at your service. Try thinking twice before taking on another squad of giants. Doctor's orders. You die hard, though. Reminds me of someone. I feel like I'm really dying. <sighs> this is all true! <laughs> it's in his story. You get used to being the underdog. Getting beat up is kind of my specialty. No, I mean more like... Uh, I don't mean physical toughness. I'm talking more about your spirit. When you're surrounded by nothing but enemies, and they're all trying to get their kicks in, you'd probably get off a lot easier if you just admitted your own weakness and gave in. You're a tough kid, you know that? Very unlike some folk I've known. Myself included. Sad, right? Was saving me a good idea? Well, I wonder. No use crying over spilled milk. Anyway, since you're here, I was thinking we could have a little chat. You've piqued my interest, and besides, they have a saying in this Tokyo, don't they? That if you've already eaten the poison, you might as well lick the plate. I've never heard that before, somebody tell me if that's true. Escalated rather quick. Alright. <clears throat> Guess it's time for a fight. Okay, what happened to the ones I gave you guys? What happened? Oh, um. Ah, おかしいですわね、静香さん。あなたの生き方。俺はあの日の誓いにかけてこの目を開けると決めている。ここは引け。バロール。そんなにその目を開くのが光栄か。斧が望みを正面から見据えるのが光栄かよ。臆病者だな、シバ。グハハ。うん。おお。おお。You did I like her, you ask? Of course I did. 
She was terribly cunning and monstrously wicked. A true femme fatale. Mm -hmm. You've heard different, you say? Have you heard her be called the Great Mother, perhaps? No, it is as you say. I cannot deny her godly aspects. She was the Great Mother of Pendai, who first molded life into shape. She mended the aurora that tore our skies, and spread wisdom that tamed our lands. Many lives were saved by her hand. However, others speak differently of her. They say she was a foul villainess who split heaven and earth in a war known as in the, invest the investiture of the gods, solely for her pride. And indeed, hers was the wicked mind that sent the thousand-year-old vixen, aka Moi, to the emperor to spread discord and strife. So you see, her wickedness too, I cannot deny. She was just as capable as of evil as of good. No doubt she has her secrets to, that remain her own, just as I am mine. Yet all the world feels entitled to, to judge her as they please. Perhaps the gaze of the masses is the cruelest mistress of all. I am certain she would scoff at such things if she could hear them. Our petty opinions would be far beneath her notice. However, now, I wonder if the ignorant rules and labels imposed upon her by others were the one thing she would not suffer. After all, the investiture of the gods was begun by an emperor's desire to claim her for his own. She was a fabulous and glorious, arrogant and shameless. Her whims held the world together and tore, tore it asunder. Wait, are you talking? Wait, I think I know what you're talking about now. And so she, my beloved liege, was known as the Render of, he of Heaven. I have to look something up to be sure. Alrighty, alrighty then, time for your medicine. This one's going to sting something fierce, so give me an ouch if it hurts, okay? Why thoroughly disinfect my body? It, whoa, what? Um, <laughs> Wow, not one ounce from you. I'm really developing on this too. Color me impressed. <laughs> this stuff burns like hell, but there's nothing better, I assure you. But I should know. It's Shinon tested and Shinon approved. You got it. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yes, that's right. I had you biting down on something, didn't I? No! Weren't doctors supposed to be kind?! But I was kind. Better that than me slapping a band-aid on it and telling you to sleep it off. There are lots of things I should be saying right now. I'm biting them all back while I patch you up. Kids who don't take kids who don't take care of themselves get to complain about the doctor. <laughs> oh. God. Are these ropes really necessary? <laughs> oh no, I'm all tied up. What, what, what do I do? Sorry. Now, it's strict bed rest for you. Trust your doctor. Trust your doctor to know what's best.
I'm back again today, huh? Listen, Brandon, I'm gonna need you to sit tight for a while. I think he's gone. Are you there, little Sullivan? your most favorite is familiar in the whole wide world, the adorable little Salmon! While you've been snoozing, I've been sleuthing. I've searched this whole place top to bottom, all on my lonesome. Ahem, Master, that's your cue for a little bit of pampering. I've heard belly rubs are all the rage nowadays. Hint, hint, hint. <clears throat> Great job, little Salmon. So, you find anything interesting? I couldn't find Taurus Mask with that giant they dragged away in any of the places I could get into. Although, right in the middle of this Penny Tension Academy, there's this closed space, just like a battle zone. You mean like those walls that appear wherever, whenever we start an app battle? Yeah, that's right! I think it's made of exactly the same stuff as the walls the app makes! And that arena in under Ikebukuro! Those two aren't anywhere else. They're probably in there. I guess you couldn't get in? I think this ring can get me in as long as we're together, Master! In other words, if I'm separated from you, I'll never get inside in a million years! I see. So now, I can always be with you! Walls or no walls? Even this petty tonsil academy is no match for our bond! Now I can but now I can bottle better than ever! Before! Ahem! <sighs> You're always a big help. But I wouldn't say no to more. Now, come here and get some belly rubs. Mm, master, you've gotten so bold! And now, easy does it! Uh... Sounds like we know where to go. Let's go find our friends. Wait, Master! First, we gotta find a way to give this doctor the slip! He looks like a bit of a slacker, but he's sharp as a knife! How are we gonna get past him? There's gotta be something. Just need them to take a short nap. Could you take a quick look for me? Greetings, Doctor. Yasuyori Ko Komugo Inuta, Warden of Squad 26, reporting with re request. Hmm. Nice to see you again, Yasuyori. I'm sure I can guess, but would you mind telling me what this is all about? Of course! I have come to retrieve the member of my squad currently in your care. Hmm. Thanks for stopping by, Sergeant. Unfortunately, my answer is still no. Would you care to explain what you mean by this, Doctor? Just doing my duty, Sergeant. By our own military code, monitoring wounded, wounded personnel is my responsibility. Especially those still undergoing treatment. And as we both know, Yasuyori, our code is as absolute. Hmm. There is suspicion in the ranks, Doctor. Many wonder why you insist on sheltering that outsider. Well, I guess that just what happens when someone badmouths the way we do things in front of the entire academy. What a handful. Imagine turning your entire squad against you. I wouldn't be doing my job if I discharged them in this state. At this rate, something bad's bound to happen. 
I think you should review our code, Yasuyori. It'll tell you that I make the decisions in my own infirmary. I could even strip the commander himself of command if I declared him unfit for duty. But he won't. All I can say, Doctor, is that I pray nothing unfortunate happens to undermine your position. <laughs> your position sounds a lot less secure than mine if you're having to resort to threat like threats like that. Now then, is that everything, Yasuyori? I would also like to request to refill my prescription, if possible. My sleep has yet to improve and it is starting to affect my performance. Last night, the nightmares were particularly severe. Oh, good grief. Are you sure you aren't the one who should be taking a leave of absence? I'll have to examine you first. Shirt off. I need to check your heartbeat. Does this hurt? How about here? Okay, now turn around. Now you found yourself experiencing heart palpitations. Any problems with your last prescription? Alright, I'll set you up for today. But if this continues, I'll have to recommend to the higher ups that you be transferred. Nice job. Damn, they got it rough though. Those guys got it rough though. I don't like it. How's he looking? If any luck, he'll be fast asleep. I think we're all clear, Master. It's like those sleeping pills worked wonders. Sorry about all this, Shinon. Right now, my friends need me. Thanks for keeping me safe. He's gonna pop up right there. Hmm. Let's do this. It's now and now, never, little Salmon. Lead the way. You got it, Master. A level three tour guide. I'll have you know. <laughs> I'll have you know. <laughs> Master, there's guards everywhere. Time to switch to stealth mode. I see them, just like I thought. Hmm. It looks like you figured it out. Mirrors reflect the light, and there ain't no light at night. That's why the general sends his honor guard out to patrol at night. Patrol the place at night. <clears throat> I know that voice. Fancy bumping into you out here. Now, would you be so kind as to remind me when I gave you permission to leave my office? He found us! Didn't the sleeping pills work? <laughs> You tried to drug me with my own medicine. I'm afraid that doesn't work so well on me. Anyway, I can't just let you walk around like this. You're gonna get yourself into trouble. Come on, let's get you back to bed. Sorry, but I can't. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Why is everyone so eager to rush to their deaths? <laughs> Sometimes bad children who don't listen to their doctors need an extra dose of medicine. This might hurt, but I know, but I want you to be brave for me, Greg. Let's 
すぐれやろおみかねすぐすぐかねたまっせただしきほうのもとにぼくがみなをみちびきましょうおみとおしですおみときんむいてきやっこぼれたこぼれたお気の毒だぜおきぼれぶすっていけお見通しかねたまっせ音を立てんじゃねえずうやすぐれやろおすぐれやろドクドクとお気の毒だぜお気の毒ピンの息とぐやこれがルチャリブレだカネタキンムクドクドクとはクチャーお気の毒だぜおっとくすっとなどうやら奇跡の力にここまでだグラスマスはちみつづいてるこっち行くぞおきのどくだぜすぐれやおみとおしですすぐれおみとおしですすぐれやあきみつつういつる正しき法のもとに僕がみなを導きましょうおおすぐれやろきんおみとおしてこぼれたあきみつつういつるおきのどくだぜおきのどくはちみつとイッツ音を立てんじゃねえこぼれたすぐれやろすぐお見通しですすぐれ死者は冥府に乱立するね死者の言葉全てを攻める地平の果てより蘇れラハホルワッテはちみつとイッツそれが定めってこったなあお前もそう思うだろうがよ Alright Oh, we still have another fight Woo, who did it? Trying to think who else goes with oppression That's gonna, that's my obvious choice. Is uh Yeah, let's go with the obvious choice. Not this again! Alright, here we go. Back then, everyone treated me with kindness and love. They never thought twice about whether they should trust me. And that is why. Yes, I confess it. That is why staying there became so difficult. None of them understood who I really was, an irredeemable monster. 
that thought threw me into confusion. The idea was so painful I could hardly bear it. The rift between my true self and others? Understanding of me became so great that I felt like an outsider. All I ever wanted was relief. To walk side by side with those who understood me and saw me for what I was. An alarm? What could be... An intruder? Impossible! Penitentiary Academy Inmate Processing Facility clear. Entrance gain to the inner compound. Shine upon you. You are not injured, I hope. In that case, it's time for us to be going. Jacob, I have an inquiry. Are you truly blind? Just as blind as anyone ever was. No light falls upon these eyes. Unless I am led by hand, I cannot manage the briefest sprint on sure footing. Observation. Humans are reported to experience fear and distress responses upon exposure to darkness. Adenim, you are incapable of sight. Query, Jacob, are you afraid of the dark? <laughs> darkness is a dear friend of me. <laughs> dear friend to me. Besides, there are things I can only feel because of my lack of sight. Should my enemy strike me right on the cheek, it is no cha challenge to offer them a counter to their left. Now, we should hurry before we attract any more attention. I presume you seek Brandon? Affirmative. I was designed and manufactured to perform reconnaissance in dangerous locations. However, analysis indicates that the risk of solo reconnaissance are exceedingly high. Consequently, I am programmed to seek out and enlist aid from an intelligent being on intelligent beings on site. Conclusion, making contact with my custodian aligns with my prime directive. So, you willfully enter the Valley of Shadow of Death, Valley of the Shadow of Death, and yet, you fear no evil. Affirmative. My directives prior to prioritize data collection over self-preservation.
Interesting. So your lot is to venture into hostile unknown. <laughs> Perhaps we are more alike than I thought. Additional inquiry, Jacob. What is your objective in pursuing Brandon? My analysis indicates that immediate escape provides a higher chance of survival. However, humans have often been observed to take suboptimal actions in order to protect their family, friends, or lovers. Do you share, do you share such a relationship with Brandon? <laughs> Not at all. We've only just met, and I doubt I mean much at all to him either. Although, I have a friend who I imagine is better acquainted. Analysis failed. Your actions de deviate greatly from expected human parameters. Is that so? But I do think humans are the creatures you claim. Humans fear what they do not understand, and yet they wish to be understood. However, I hold fast to one belief. <clears throat> Love neither needs, needs nor asks for mutual understanding. <laughs> or so an old friend of mine was fond of saying. Even now, we are all bound by the threads of fate, though we may not know it. I have no doubt that we will find the one we both seek. Would you not allow me to accompany you? Query, how can you be so sure? Can you see something? Not at all. My eyes are quite blind, but my fist guide my path. That iron will that would that iron will that would rend the clouded heavens and this darkness lurking within Penitentia Academy. Such brazen arrogance cannot help but guide my hand. Beneath that banner is my duty, my calling, and yet my heart lies in tatters. Memories of this perpetual, unstoppable war have ground my body and soul to dust. With my own flesh I spread knowledge of medicines, poisons, and agriculture and hope that someday all might prosper. All for the belief that if we could live in fullness and contentment, we might finally set down our swords. But now, at last I see that life is bought in blood. That as long as life continues to propagate, war remains inevitable. Inevitable. Eh! In I'm so bad at that word! War, war remains inevitable. That our numbers grow, so too our differences. Our lack of understanding breeds fear. Fear leads to conflict. This truth has robbed me of the strength to seek an end, seek an end to those. Eh, this, this truth has robbed me of the strength to seek an end to these battles. Now I seek only to sa save as many lives as possible. If others would know nothing else of me, I would at least n have them know that, and I strove for the sake of others. Finally, at the end of that path, I collapsed into the dust alone and wept. I cried out to be understood, and yet I understood nothing of others. As I gazed up at the sky, the rainbow of transient light answered me, and so I was summoned to Tokyo. <sighs> wow! 
going? <laughs> Come back to the infirmary while you still have the chance. I wouldn't be doing my job if I let you go, knowing the bloodbath that's waiting for you if you do. Forgive me, Shinon. All this because of a couple of friends locked up in here? They are more than that! They are so much more than that! When someone asks you for help, you can't just sit and watch! And so what? How do you think you can help exactly? What do you know about their pain? About the true nature of war? Have you ever snuffed out a life with your own hands? Do you have any idea the guilt that brings? I... I don't, but... War is inevitable. We can't escape it. Not as long as we continue to multiply. That's just how things are. So all I can do is strive for the greatest good I can. All that matters to me is having one fewer silk lost soul crying on the battlefield. And I'll use any means necessary, including this one. <laughs> what the? What? Hey, what's that? I can't move a muscle! You poisoned me? From a tiny scratch? My body's a bit special, you see. I have a whole plethora of poison stored in my organs day in, day out. Oh god, it's freaking. It's that one ninja lady from the movie Ninja Scroll! If you've never seen, if you've never seen that anime, it, 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 uh, it's rated 18, so, um, yeah. <laughs> it, it is, a, it is pretty adult, so, yeah. <clears throat> anyway. At the moment, you, at the moment, you're at the pleasure of an anesthetic made from my blood. Quite effective, don't you think? <laughs> You've already done enough. I'm giving you an excuse to give up here. Don't you get it? There's nothing you can do. Go back, get some rest, and stay out of all this. You could even walk right out those gates, so long as you walk out alone. you still got that choice. Listen, it's over. Time to quit trying to play the hero. You're too old to believe in fairy tales, kid. <laughs> Screw that! You need to learn to listen to your doctor. You just don't get what we... You're right, I don't get it, and I never will! Ever said you have to know someone to help them why can't you get it why you don't need to throw your life away for someone else I'm not doing this for anyone else I'm doing it for myself what <laughs> that light those colors Brandon, you... Wait, where did... Since when were we surrounded? Aren't those the loot? Wait. No, they aren't! The black spiders, huh? So the commander's honor guards are already on the prowl. <laughs> Black Spider. Shinon! No! What's this stuff? It's like black mist. No, wait. It's smoke! Or darkness. 
<laughs> Darkness. <laughs> Jacob! You're here to save me! How did you find me? <laughs> your challenge to the cry of your you your challenge to the cry of the heavens became our guiding beacon. Such brilliant audacity shines bright even in these lightless eyes. Come, let us go together, Brandon. I now beseech thee, heavens high, to baptize with thy mighty cry this fist which oh, this fish was overturned to earth and sky. Blade of the cherubim!
れが定めってこったなあお前もそう思うだろうがよ。